This is Scott Smith again with yet another Lean Life Hack. Today we're going to talk about some photography uh, deals. I've had some people that I've uh, corresponded with talk to me about wanting to maybe get into photography, but they said that the, it's too expensive to get started. I can understand that because the kit that I usually use is a Canon 80D with a Canon L series 24 to 70 lens. This is my favorite camera. It's my everyday user. And it's a pretty expensive package. You're talking about about $1,500 just right here in, uh, in this little setup. So a lot of people don't have that kind of cash to put into a camera kit. So I decided I'm going to do some research. And I got on shopgoodwill.com and I just wanted to see what was compatible. Now bear in mind my Canon 80D is I believe 24 megapixels um, and my lens 24 to 70 millimeter. I think the aperture runs from 4.5 to 5.6. So this is what I found. I found a Fuji S3 Pro camera, 12 megapixels, and I found a Tamron lens that was uh, compatible with my Canon. And this is the kit right here. I got the lens again for 36 bucks. I got the body for 101 dollars. So we've got a 141 or 137 dollar kit here, as opposed to a 1500 dollar kit. So let's take this out in the field. And see how it uh, how it uh, holds up to the Canon 80D, which is my everyday kit, like I said. So you guys know the routine by now. Go grab a cup of coffee, get ready to take some notes. Let's see what kind of damage we can do. Okay, so here we are in a nice uh, secluded area. I'm going to go ahead and take a few pictures with these and we'll go ahead and compare them. And there we are, ladies and gentlemen. A fine comparison between the Canon 80D and the Fujifilm S3 Pro. Now, you're going to notice that the, there's really no comparison between the two. You're not going to get the same quality from this Fujifilm that you're going to get from the 80D, but you're not going to get the price tag either. Uh, the biggest problem that you might notice is that I hadn't cleaned the sensor on this um, annotated Fujifilm camera, and so there's some speckles and spots. Since I've taken these photos, I've cleaned the sensor, and those spots have went away. However, the quality of the photographs remain the same. Would I take these photographs and throw them up on a um, website to sell the stock photos? Absolutely. This is a fine camera. At the time that it was manufactured and marketed, it was top of the line, and it's 12 megapixels as opposed to the 24 of the ADD. However, for the money, you really can't beat it, and if you're a beginning photographer and a hobbyist, you could absolutely have a blast with this and make a little bit of money, too. So, this is Scott Smith, again, with another Lean Life Hack. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.